Hey guys, Josh here from Rizagas Fishing with your dosage of fishing goodness. Today we're gonna do a bit of a spanner crab catch and cook. So I'm gonna roll on some clips of yesterday's trip, which wasn't too bad, it was a bit of a rough day. So we did one set of three dillies and we pretty well cleaned up on them. Like we did have a little bit of inside information. Like my granddad, he's in the know, he's, he knows a lot of people up north. So, well, he knows a lot of people on the sunny coast, so he knows what he's doing, but we're gonna do, yeah, basic catch and cook. So I'm gonna roll on those clips now and I'll see you guys in the footage. Remember, 80-20, that's fishing. All right, guys, welcome to another episode. So come out to the spot that we're gonna actually set the dillies. We're running them at about 41 to 43 meters of water. We're just getting them all ready there now, getting the bait bags all packed with bait before we actually set them. So what you're gonna use is anything like pilchard, squid, stuff like that. Um, I believe we used a couple of pilchards and a squid per dilly, so you don't need a lot of bait or anything like that. And we've basically got the bag set up on like a uh, float type uh, system, so they'll hover a little bit just above the dilly, or they'll stand up on the dilly so that yeah, if you get turtles or sharks come through, they're just gonna take away the actual the bait bag. They're not actually gonna ruin the net or the dilly or get tangled up or anything like that. So we're just getting a rope ready. We're just tying them off the main line. Just got little snap clips there so we can hook them up to the main line. And there you go, we're just launching them out over the side. The short little spans, float ready, float out, and done. All right, so we've just come back up. After 20 minutes, we've, we've picked up the main float. We're just gonna quickly pull those dillies up, winch them up. We've got a little handheld winch there, and we're just gonna pull them up and, yeah. Hey, you got something on there. Hey, we got them. <laughs> That's a go. Seven. More. There's more than that. Yeah, it be closer to ten. Yep, yep. I swap you, Ben. Oh, yeah, it goes through. Oh, shit, sorry. No, you're good. Oh, Hold that up in front of the camera. <laughs> oh, how good is that? There you go. Bloody awesome. Oh yeah, wet boots. <laughs> hey, there's more on this one. Oh hey, there's a couple. <laughs> that is good. Bloody awesome. Yeah, they go again. Oh, that's a big one. That's a very good one, that one. There we go. Yeah. Oh, this one's pretty good too. Hey, that one's still on the bag. <laughs> oh, he's a big one. Yeah, so it's a few small ones. Yeah. Well, then we get any crap. Well, 
I think we did all right. Got it. Yep. These are good. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. You gotta get a pretty incendiary old man. Jumping out the blind window going past. Oh, oh shit. Sorry. Oh. Oh. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> How good is that? What do you reckon? We're trying to get one now. Oh, we should probably go for a fish. Yeah, a couple. Alright uh, guys, so I basically, yeah, I thought I'd just voice over this section anyway guys, just because it was pretty rough, pretty noisy, and yeah, there sort of wasn't much going on, but uh, basically all we're doing is we're just going through, we're just picking all these uh, crabs off the dillies, throwing back the small ones, and uh, throwing the big legal ones in the bucket, uh, that's what you can see here basically, so they are... <laughs> They are a little bit painful to uh, pick off the dillies if you've never done it before. And I'm not going to lie, it did take us a little bit of time. We were a bit slow and definitely not professionals by any, uh, yeah, any means at all. Uh, Granddad's just measuring them up there and yeah, we're going through and just picking them off. Now, the weather in the background, it looks, it looks okay, but it was actually pretty joggly on the day. And it was, it made it a little bit hard, especially when, you know, they're trying to bite you and you're trying to pluck them off and like a tiny little mesh there which is designed to hook onto their legs, it makes them you know, at the same time hard to pull back off the mesh too. So we're doing our best for uh, amateurs. That's a shield. There we go, that's one dilly down. Number two dilly. Uh, this one had a fair few small ones on it, as you can see. So uh, yeah, a lot of them are getting thrown back. That one was a good one. There we go. Oh, and, uh, and yeah, Ben's already working. My name's Ben. You can see in the background if you haven't already heard his name in the video, but yeah, he's working in the background there. He's, he's taking them off the other dilly while I'm working on his last couple on the second dilly. But yeah, only three dillies we put out and uh, one set. So maybe 20 minutes wait time for that set. Now, uh, my grandfather, he, he he's lived up on the Sunshine Coast for a long time, so he does know a lot of the spanner crabbers, local spanner crabbers around the area and that. He does get a fair bit of... Um, he does get the inside tip from now, every now and then on where to go, so I won't divulge too much on that information. But yeah, but uh, anyway guys, I'll uh, leave you to it and I'll see you in the footage. Remember, 80-20, that's fishing. Yeah, that's basically how you catch them anyway, guys. You just, yeah, dillies, you want to work that 40 meter mark, or however many fathoms that is, I'm not very good, I'm a metric kid. So I don't really, really know that too well, but what we're doing now is we've just had these guys on ice just overnight. And we got back, we got back pretty late last night, so we've just put them on ice, put them to sleep. That oh, way when we go to boil them, they're not gonna throw any limbs or anything like that. Quickly, oh, throw them, throw them in the pot, boil them up, nice and simple, bit of salt in your water, or if you can get some salt water straight from the ocean, that'd be best, but you know, not everybody's got that nice close access to salt water, so the salt is fine, table salt is perfectly fine. We're going to cook them for about 20 minutes, they probably don't really need any longer than that, and then, uh, yeah, we're pretty much done. We might make a sandwich, might melt a little bit of butter to put over the top of them, and it'll be super tasty and be nice. Oh, 
Right, so, get a nice hot pot of a boiling water, they steamy. Oh, hopefully they're all gonna fit. We'll have to do in batches, maybe. Cool. So just put three in first up, boil them for about 20 minutes and then we'll throw the other three in okay. just so I don't want to overcrowd the pot and take way too long to cook them up and just let it yeah, so we'll bring them back to the boil and then yeah, give it 20 minutes. Oh, that's hot. Oh, these guys are done. So they've been on there for 20 minutes, we're just going to pull them out. Them somewhere. Whew. All right, guys, we've uh, peeled two of the crabs. And I've got another three sitting there. Get a little bit of butter to drizzle over the top, but. Just gonna do what we always do, make a nice little crab sandwich. Get a heap of that meat on there. I'll show you some of that meat, like that's that's just two crabs. And I might have been eating on the go as well. So. <laughs> There's a fair bit there. Daddy! Daddy's talking to the camera, Bubba. Try some food. Do you want to try some crab? Oh. Alright. Here you go. Can you try some? Mmm. They're good? Mm -hmm. More? You gotta finish what's in your mouth. You're helping mm -hmm. daddy make crab sandwich, hey? Mm -hmm. Alright, alright. Hang on, daddy's gonna finish making his sandwich and then he can have some more, okay? I have to crab. Was it yummy? Yeah. Yeah. I have some more. You brought some more. Right, a salt and pepper. Ooh. Nice. Now, my first try, time trying spanner crabs, and they taste pretty damn good, I'm not gonna lie. Alright. So. Mm. Oh, yeah. oh, good jammy. Mm. Mm, yeah. Okay. Are you back for more? Um, Do you want a bite? <laughs> Are you reckon good? You're pretty good, hey? Yeah. Can you say hello, camera? Hello, camera. <laughs> back. That's everyone on YouTube. Alright, guys. It's at that point in the video, remember, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment below if you liked it as much as my Wake daughter did. It's a camera. You're not very helpful, are you? Hmm. Remember guys, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Drop a comment below if you've never had a uh, spanner crab before and you want to try some. And even drop a comment below if you like it as much as my daughter does. If you're not subscribed to the channel, guys, remember it's as easy as hitting this button up here. So, with that being said, remember 80 20, that's fishing. I'll see you in the next one. Mmm, mmm. You like it? Okay. Mmm. 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 Mmm.